So today is a product launching of our new product called Hobonet. So it's a Hobonet wireless monitoring system. So what is so special about Hobonet is um, between the logger and the sensor, there are no running cables at all. And the application can be for indoor and also for outdoor monitoring. Hobonet system. So Hobonet is a cost-effective, scalable web-enabled solution monitoring system that can be used at numerous points without the hassle of riding cable. So it's completely wireless. And the wireless sensors are ready to deploy with no further configuration needed. It will communicate with the data logger via radio frequency, 9 to 1 megahertz, which is acceptable in Malaysia. And uh, the distance from the logger to the sensor is about 450 to 600 meter and can up to five hop with a Hobonet repeater. So one sensor can actually go as far as 3000 meter uh, plus minus. And then uh, one RX data logger series can accommodate up to 50 wireless sensor. And each Hobonet have an onboard memory to ensure there's no data loss. Uh, it's about 16 MB, it's one million measurement. And for this, Hobonet has a wide sensor variable, example at temperature, humidity, motion, etc. And it uses Hobolink as the cloud-based platform, which lets you to assess the data from anywhere and anytime. You can also set the SMS or email alert and do data scheduling and etc. So we'll go more detail on the next presentation. So for the application, Hobonet can be used for outdoor field condition for applications such as the crop management uh, and the greenhouse operation and also a weather station. And then also can be used for indoor monitoring system for warehouses, cold storage facilities, data center, museum, uh, any building and etc. It just depends on the parameter that you need. Before I go deeper, I'll share a video so that you have an idea uh, about this Hobonet system. From farms to greenhouses to forests and vineyards, data drives better understanding and better decision-making. With meaningful, accessible data, you can help protect your crops from climate hazards like frost or dry soil, minimize the use of water and the application of pesticides and fungicides, or improve the quality of your crops. Onset's Hobonet field monitoring system will transform the way you collect and view data. With up to 50 wireless sensors streaming data back to a central, cloud-based weather station, you can monitor all your critical locations without having to run cables or visit the site. At the heart of the system is Onset's field-proven Hobo RX3000 weather station, known across many industries for its easy setup, robust design, and research-grade accuracy. Our wireless sensors cover a range of outdoor measurements, including temperature, humidity, rain, wind, soil moisture, evapotranspiration, and more. These compact sensors can be placed anywhere you need them, up to 1,500 feet apart. They use intelligent mesh networking to route data through surrounding sensors for the most reliable communication path. The sensors are easy to install with several mounting options, and they include a built-in solar panel for battery charging. You simply connect the sensor to the network with the press of a button and use the signal strength icon to position it for the best possible connection. More powerful than ever, Onset's cloud-based Hobolink software has been enhanced to make your field monitoring data more meaningful and more accessible. The Hobolink dashboard enables instant visualization of your current and historical data and can be customized to your specific needs with the dashboard builder and our library of widgets. And you can set up an email or text alarm so you are immediately notified of critical conditions such as frost or low soil moisture. The map view feature gives you a view of current conditions over your entire monitoring area and exporting data or scheduling data deliveries to other programs is a snap. With the Hobonet field monitoring system, you can measure conditions over large areas once considered too costly or impractical to monitor. Now, with near real-time information and a wider coverage area, you can protect your crop, optimize crop management, and gain better data and more insights than ever before. 
Contact Onset today to learn how you can benefit from this powerful wireless field monitoring system. Okay, so that is the example for the outdoor. It's actually the same concept. For the Component minimum system component. So for a complete set of component system, you need, a, of course, a data logger. We call it the RX station. And then you will need a Hobonet manager. This Hobonet manager will act as the interface to communicate with the, uh, with the sensor. And then, of course, you will need a Hobonet sensor, uh, depending on your parameter. And then the Hobolink to uh, assess the data as the web-based platform. Okay, for the Hobonet RX station, Hobonet manager. So we have two versions. The first is the RX micro station. We have the 2105, which is a battery powered suitable for indoor monitoring and are using SIM card uh, to connect to the cloud. And then we have the 2106 with the solar powered. So this is a solar, so we charge the battery, uh, suitable for outdoor monitoring and also using SIM card to connect to the cloud. Next, we have the RX station, RX 3000. For this one, uh, you will need to add on the Hobonet manager for it to function as a Hobonet wireless system. So uh, also for the outdoor monitor, you can add on the solar panel so it can recharge the battery. And this one is more versatile where uh, you can use either SIM card, internet or Wi-Fi. And then you can also add on any analog third party sensor and a relay module. So all these RX station can be connected to the Hobonet wireless sensor and also they have a built-in uh, port sensor for the wired sensor. Okay, so for the Hobonet sensor, these are the available measurements. Uh, we have the soil moisture, temperature, RH, rain, uh, light, power and solar radiation, wind speed, wind direction, we have leaf. Uh, leaf wetness, water level, and then calculate ET is from the Hobolink software and then also the for the pulse input. So more sensors are coming in. So uh, we will update you on that later. Okay, these are the list for the smart sensor, for the wired sensor, plug and play. So uh, this one more on the power sensor and then we also have for the environment sensor, the CO2 and then the rain, RH and etc. Okay, for the Hobonet sensor, we call it as a mode. So for this uh, mode, it's actually pre-configured mode, so it's ready to deploy. There's no further configuration needed. Uh, it's easily connect modes with the press of button. So you just press the button, it will automatically search for the frequency. And then it uses 921 MHz wireless mesh network technology. Uh, this technology uh, will make the modes connect directly to each other. So it will find the nearest frequency to transfer the data. It will not limit it or strict to uh, follow a certain route or certain path. So with this technology, it will be more stable. It will widen the connection range and it has a better security. And it has a 450 to 600 meter range line of sight with five hop with a repeater. And 50 wireless sensor per RX station. Uh, it has a rechargeable battery via built-in solar panel. Uh, it uses uh, it use double A battery, and then it has the solar panel to recharge the battery. And it's very easy to mount to pole opposite. It's very small, and then you can remotely upload the data without the need to go to the field. Uh, so each mode and each send, uh, station has a memory, so uh, you will back up the data. It's sixty MB. And then you can set the alarm notification through the Hobolink uh, troubling platform. And then, of course, it's the MCMC approved. And this is how it looks like. So this is the whole point of the Hobonet sensor. Uh, the upper part is the antenna. And then it has the LCD screen. So you can see the battery level and also the, uh, the connection level. And then this is the battery. And then at the back, you have this mounting hole. You can use uh, any screw or any dip or any uh, cable tie. And then it has your hinges and padlock hole and also a grounding screw. So this is how you look from the front, from the side, and from the back. So uh, next is the Hoboli platform. So Hoboli is the web enable software platform that makes it easy to view and to manage your data remotely. So after you have set up all the logger and the sensor at your site, you can just uh, log in into the Hoboli system. 
Okay. So through Hobolink, you can access the data with web browser or mobile device. So just go to hobolink.com, uh, enter your login ID and password, and you can just uh, access your data. Use browser or mobile device. And then you can verify your Hobo station status remotely without the need to go to the site. And you can set up and manage the alarm notification remotely. So you can set a threshold. If it's uh, above the threshold, you will send SMS or email to a dedicated person. And you can also schedule the automated delivery of data, uh, let's say maybe daily, weekly, or monthly. And then you can configure a dashboard that highlights your most important measurement. And then you can create the dashboard that brings data from multiple systems together in a single view. This one is more suitable when you have a multiple site. So you can uh, bring them all together in a single view and you can compare. And then you can configure and calculate uh, configure calculated channels such as the dew point, the accumulated rainfall, and the evapotranspiration, the ET. And then, of course, you can export the exact date range and the sensor you want. So, let's say you just want the February data, so you can just click February and then you can have all the data. You don't have to uh, do from A to Z. Okay, so from the Hobolink platform, you will always get notified. So Hobolink will send the email or the text SMS to the to your phone when the connection exceeds the set threshold. And then you can set the uh, alarm to let you know when something may have gone uh, wrong and needs your attention. For example, like this low sound moisture, so you know what is happening. And then you can monitor your station with a Google Maps. Uh, this one, you can just uh, monitor your station. Uh. <laughs> Then uh, it's an easy web-based configuration. So this hobbling will allow you to easily configure the sensor, the login rate, the alarm notification, the relation, and many more. And then this is the example of the dashboard. Lah. You can see uh, instant visualization of your current and the historical data. And also you can customize it according to your needs. Okay, so it's a very easy system setup. So first, you just need to mount the RX station into your pole and then a wireless receiver, which is the HoboNet manager and also the sensor. And then you install your HoboNet sensor and link it to your data logger. And then you just configure the sensor, the logging rate, the alarm and everything via HoboLink. And then you can view your data and receive the alarm from your mobile device or your computer. Okay, so what is the HoboNet benefits? So first, it's a very ease of deployment. Uh, it's, a, it's a very small. So, uh, and then it's very easy to link uh, your sensor to the logger. It's just a one press button. So it's a, because it's small and lightweight, so it's very easy to mount to such as a PVC pipe. So it does not need to be a, a substantial pole and extra. And then it has a fast alarm response. So the alarm detection in logger triggers immediate response. So this means even when your data does not reach the cloud yet, but if uh, it detects any, uh, if, uh, but if it has alarm, it will trigger automatically and instantly. So it will directly send to your uh, phone or to your email address. Then a reliable data. So you have a data backup in most and in RX station. So if any break-in, they can automatically catch up the data. Uh, in wireless or cellular communication. So uh, any question before we go to the live demo? So for the RX3000, uh, you can see this is the LCD display. So when you click this one, you can see the system, the system overview, and then this is the cloud system connection, your, uh, uh, your data plan. And then uh, smart sensor and then module two. Module two is the HoboNet sensor. So this one, you can, this one is the HoboNet manager. You can, you just plug in. And then this HoboNet manager is like this. It does not uh, need any battery or anything because uh, you use the battery from the data logger. Okay. And then for this one, more, this module one, you can add on any third party sensor or any VLAN module. And then these are the example for the uh, HoboNet sensor, the temperature RH. So this is the sensor temperature and RH. And then this is the modes, uh, the modes that enable it to be uh, communicate wirelessly with the data logger. 
So you can see this one, just press this one. So you can see the battery level and also the uh, connection level. So it just use the double A battery. So it's very small. See, very small. <laughs> So uh, this is the solar panel, so it will recharge the battery. Okay. So now uh, we actually at the third floor of the building. So my colleague here, KY, uh, he will go run down to the ground floor so that you can see the connection level. Okay, so Kewa has gone down. I think uh, he's already at maybe second floor. So you can see the bar, the signal bar is still going strong. So you have three bar. Okay, and then I think uh, Kewa already reached the ground floor. This is without the repeater. Hmm. Uh, this one is a direct communication from the data logger to the sensor without any repeater. So during installation, we'll do this test first. Now it's two bar. And... <laughs> Yeah, so now KY is at ground floor and the data logger is at the fourth floor. So he try to go outside. So see, you can see when he go outside, the signal strength is coming back. Signal strength is coming back. So this won't actually direct, uh, it will communicate directly to the data logger. It will search the nearest frequency that it can get. So from fourth floor to ground floor outdoor, the signal strength is uh to second and third bar. That one is, uh, that is a very good enough already. Okay. So this is the Hoboling software. You can just type in hoboling.com. Uh, maybe I start from, from the beginning. So go to your web browser, then hoboling.com. .com, so it will appear like this. So you can just log in according to your uh, ID and your password. So log in. Uh, this is what you will get. So uh, first, all right device. You need to register your device first. And then this one we already registered, of course. <laughs> this, is this is how it looks like. So uh, we have the temperature and RH and also the dew point here. These are the real uh, real real time data. And then condition today at 10:35. And then this is the just the overview. And then you can also see the graph here from the past day. You can choose past day, past week, or past month. Okay, and then this is just the logging system. So the connection, the configuration, and then also the alarm. So if there's something wrong with the data, missing data or anything, you can see the configuration here. Maybe uh, someone stopped the device or someone removed the sensor, something like that. Okay, this is just the alarm lock. And then you can also export the data. Export the data, you can uh, schedule delivery. So you can uh, set the time frame between a uh, specific time that you need. And then the format will be in Excel sheet. Okay. And then uh, we have the dashboard. Okay, this dashboard, you can create your own. So if you have like multiple sensor or multiple site, you can bring all the data together in a single view. So you can make a direct uh, comparison. So ours is just a simple one. 
We have this the temperature, and then this is the RH, and then this is the dew point. Okay, and a connected device is one because we only have one devices. Okay, so this hovering software is very user friendly. <laughs> uh, it's not so complicated. Uh, this one is the calculated channel. So if you have a complete uh, weather station, the temperature, RH, wind, and I think you need a solar radiation, you can directly calculate the ET. So it will come out something like this. Um, uh, new configuration. And then this one will be auto-select. If it detects the sensor, it will auto-select and auto-do the calculation. These are the example of the ET. Right. Yes, you can go to on site website. You can also go to our website, TMS website. So, TMS website, you can go to our product and then HoboNet wireless system. So, all the sensor and the data logger are here. Are actually ah, yes. So, let's say 12105, you just go here and then the specs are here. And you want to download, just download here. Okay. 